Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Explorers. Today we're going to talk about the James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful and complex space telescope ever built. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is designed to study the infrared light from the most distant and ancient objects in the universe, such as the first stars and galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. But if JWST can see so far into our universe, why can't we point it at closer things like Mars and get amazing photos of our own solar system? Well, there are a few reasons for that. Firstly, JWST is not a camera but a telescope. It uses a large 6.5-meter mirror, 2.7 times larger than Hubble's. This allows it to capture more light, revealing fainter and more distant objects. However, its advantage comes with a trade-off, a narrower field of view. While Hubble can observe a full moon, JWST only sees a quarter. This makes JWST less ideal for observing large nearby objects like planets and moons in our solar system. Secondly, JWST is optimized for infrared light, which is the type of light emitted by very cold and very distant objects. This reveals details about celestial bodies. However, objects like Mars emit more visible light than infrared, meaning JWST wouldn't capture high-quality images of them or other bright, warm objects in our solar system. Thirdly, James Webb Space Telescope orbits at the second Lagrange point, 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. This unique spot provides a clear view of the sky, avoiding atmospheric interference. JWST focuses on deep cosmos exploration, making it impractical for tasks like capturing Mars images. In fact, we already have some amazing photos of Mars, captured by the James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera, near CAM, in September 2022. These images reveal reflective and thermal properties of the planet with sufficient sensitivity and resolution to explore localized phenomena. So, while the James Webb Space Telescope is an incredible tool for exploring the universe, it's not the best choice for observing our own solar system. But don't worry, we still have plenty of other telescopes and instruments that are perfect for the job. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more space videos. See you next time.